LCBO of Ontario here uh, just went on strike for at least the for the uh, foreseen future. And for those of you who are not in Ontario, what the LCBO is, is the Liquor Control Board of Ontario. It's where you have to go to get your whiskey, your vodka, and things like that. Yeah, we do things really weird out here. I'm not sure <laughs> exactly why that whole thing started. But they are going on strike for the first time in their 97-year history. So let's have a look at this quick video, and then we'll talk about it after. possibility here that about 10,000 LCBO workers will be walking off the job. So the message from the LCBO is these talks continue. Uh, customers are encouraged to stock up, especially if there's specifics you usually rely on at the LCBO, such as uh, vintages or, or spirits. Now, we're outside of an LCBO. All of the LCBO stores across the province today opening early. They've been opening early in anticipation of this strike, this possible strike. We don't know if it's going to happen, but the union very, very close to walking here because uh, they say they're not happy with the way talks are going at the table. Earlier this year, the So this is from earlier uh, today before they had officially gone on strike. But then I believe around noon, uh, they ended up walking out. Your deck board announced that uh, they would be making alcohol available in different locations, convenience stores as of this September. So, for example, you could go to the corner store and pick up some cider instead of having to go to the LCBO. Uh, the union representing those LCBO workers are concerned about that and the job security and really the future of the LCBO. So we know that that is part of the conversations along with uh, casual employment and wages. People are encouraged to go to the LCBO and stock up. If you can, also, if there is a strike, the LCBO says all of their stores will close for 14 days, guys. So for you. All right. So there we have it. So, you know, again, we do things very strange out here in Ontario. I don't know why we even have a liquor control board of this province. I think we're the only province to actually have it. Uh, now, that being said, it exists. The government is in control of our alcohol for some reason. And, you know, I got to be honest with you. I'm pro worker. I'm pro get as much money as you can. I'm pro union to, for the most part. That being said, I also don't think that the government should be in control of our alcohol sales. I actually agree with Doug Ford here. We should be able to you know go to the grocery store or the convenience store and buy some alcohol. Why is it that why does it have to be completely monopolized by the government? That doesn't make any sense. Now again, they have ten thousand people who work there. That being said. If the LCBO did not exist and you had other company like liquor stores, which is, you know, they're all over the United States and other parts of Canada, those employees could go get jobs there. Now, again, I'm, I'm not saying abolish the LCBO, but I am saying, yeah, give us more options. Because when you have a, a the government just controlling the, the sales of alcohol, they also get to control the, pro, uh, the price. And the price should be controlled by a fair and free market. And the more it's available, the more that there can be competitive pricings. Now, that being said, again, go get your money, whatever you're doing. I know they're just essentially cashiers and stocking shelves. That being said, the government should not have a monopoly and you should have options to get it elsewhere. I understand that those workers might not be happy with me when I say it, but what I said is true. We, we should not have a specific province saying, okay, here's where you can get your alcohol and here's only where you can get your alcohol. And we'd also have beer stores, and you can get beer in some grocery stores now, but you can't get whiskey, you can't get any spirits or anything like that. And I, I mean, me and my friends have been saying that for years that that should, should change. And finally, Doug Ford said, hey, we're actually going to change that this September. And the LCBO's response to that is, well, we'll go on strike. It's like, okay, I mean, I understand what you're doing. You're trying to get a message across, but you're going to piss a lot of people off. And then when September rolls around, do you think they're going to go back to you and get your and get their spirits? No, they're going to go somewhere else because you just left them hung out to dry. And instead of taking any responsibility for it, this union calls it Doug Ford's Dry Summer, just typical, try to be dramatic. Right, and that this is kind of where it's like, yeah, some unions I'd have a problem with because they suck. Right, I mean, that's not a good way to put it, just trying to make it all the government's fault. And again, I am, I agree with that, that statement that the government causes most problems, absolutely. But this is actually an example where they're fixing the problem and getting the uh, the sale of liquor to be in an open, free, fair market instead of in a monopolized market. So calling it, oh, Doug Ford's dry summer, it's like you, for, you can still get wine and beer at other stores. It's not going to be a dry summer. She's making it sound like it's going to be some prohibition or something like that. And it's not. It'll last probably a couple weeks, and then you'll probably see them go back to work. They don't really have much leverage. 
okay, fine, keep closed all summer. You think people are going to come back to you when they have other options now that you've pissed them off? Maybe not. Let me know what you guys think, though. I'm very curious. I know this is kind of a, an interesting situation where it's like government versus worker. And for again, most of the time, I'm on the worker side, but I don't agree with monopolization of any uh, of any market. So, you know, keep. I'm not saying you know, abolish the, the LCBO, but I, I do want to know what you guys think. You know, do, 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 are your concerns more with the workers or with the monopolization of alcohol? Uh, and again, please uh, like and subscribe. It really helps grow this channel. Thank you again so much for watching, guys, and I'll be back shortly with another video.